Good morning, everyone. How are you? Good to see you back on a Sunday live classes for strategic management by Board of Studies. I see Vimal is there. Hi, Deepak, Shankara. How are you? Any questions, any doubts from yesterday, please feel free to reach out here. Ask your questions. This is your class, right? I, I keep saying this. This is your class and I mean it because the more interaction, the more questions we have, the better these classes become. Okay. Great. So yesterday we were talking about chapter number one, which is our introduction, right? And we were talking about things. Basically, we were talking about things that are probably about introduction or strategic management, wherein we were talking about what is strategy, what is a company, how does an organization work, what are the different things within an organization, right? And that is what we were doing. Hey, Mamta, Divya, Gunjan, how are you? Harshita, Kadambri, Monik, Madhav, Diksha, Bhavna, Santiga, very good morning to you as well. I am good, Kadambri, thank you so much. Mohammed is there, Ram Devi, Minakshi, Rachna, Badlamani, good, 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 Sakshi, Nisha, Rachna is there, Path is there, Vishal is there, Makina is there, Pradhanan, how are you? Hi, Pasala, how are you? Great. Any questions, anything that you have, please, please feel free to ask as many questions as you can. Okay, what are the limitations of strategic management? Time consuming, very costly process, takes a lot of effort and you do not know how the competition is going to respond, right? What is concrete and specific? Concrete and specific means to the point, very detailed, and it helps you understand what is to be done. You're talking from objectives, right? Notes have been uploaded 24 hours to lagte hai usko dikhne mein app pe. So you'll get those notes as well. The notes from yesterday have been uploaded. So be assured on that. Okay. How to write the answers? We will do that as well. We have just begin. We have so many classes together. And if you have uh, seen or if you have attended my BCK classes, how I do is I first complete a little bit of syllabus, then we do a lot of questions. We will do a lot of questions from the study material. I will have some interesting questions from you, which I prepare. We will also talk about examinations. We will talk about how to solve questions, how to write answers in the examination. We do everything. So be assured on that right? we will cover everything. But but in a sequence. All right. I can read your comments, Supriya. Morning to you as well. All right, Sangharan says, my notes are available on the BOS website. So see, they have been uploaded. For those who want, can go and check that out. Rahul, Rahul is asking, what is matrix relationship? Rahul, a simple a finance person working for a specific SBU or a division is part of the overall finance team as well. So this is where the matrix structure comes into handy is number one right a person is the finance lead or the finance team member for a particular division let's say kids division or men's division but the overall are also part of the finance team of the organization so that is what probably you understand from matrix structure right one more time you want business level and functional level functional level are people who actually do the execution Business level managers or business level of management takes care of who does what, how to implement the strategy. Corporate level makes the strategy. Business level implements, tells who does what, when and how. And functional level actually explains or are the set of people who actually do the entire working. The entire execution of the strategy is done by the functional level managers. What about finance management? Can you take in future? Absolutely, yes. Why not? Good morning to everyone who's joining right now. I know it's too early on a Sunday morning, so we're giving you five, six minutes to join in while we are solving questions from your friends on the chat, right? In a company to make strategy... Uh, sir, uh, okay. Koklator, what, I don't understand your question. Can you please write the full question? So... In company who makes strategic management, the corporate level makes it. 
this company hire a person who makes sometimes yes the consultants they may or they may no not so it depends on the company okay super but then then darshan the previous batch is your college friend he told you to be here so good good that you're here i hope you're enjoying this No problem, Jay. You have, you have joined late. We are not going to punish you. We are not going to tell you become a murga for the next two and a half hours. So it's okay. I know it's a Sunday morning, and it's okay to join five minutes late, but not beyond that. Absolutely, Nitika, you can attempt May twenty four exams. Jay Patel, we have already said writing answers will be done after we complete the syllabus. There will be a class to tell you that. Hi, Shri Krishna. Cool. With that, today what we're going to do is two things. Okay, we are going to cover two things today. Number one is we will start with our second chapter, which is a long chapter, which is a pretty long chapter. It's called Chapter Two, right? It's called Chapter Two: Strategic Analysis of External Environment. It's called Strategic Analysis. external environment what you're seeing here is chapter number 1 introduction to strategic management is done we did that in the first class itself but now we will spend a lot more time on understanding the application right you would see in the schedule that the classes are too many right one one particular chapter has two or three sessions it will not take that much time it will take at least just like one or two sessions for each chapter maybe two sessions per chapter but every chapter needs to have a lot of questions where we practice so i will make sure so i will make sure you get so many questions to practice from study material from me like yesterday we did four five good questions where i gave you trick questions as well we will do so many more questions as we get into the syllabus okay so a lot of classes will be focused on exam a lot of classes will be focused on question solving a lot of classes will be focused on you right how you clear the examinations because the syllabus is pretty simple it's pretty easy because everything is logic and you remember right and you remember you have to study this entire syllabus as a business owner okay you are the business owner cool how luxury brands are able to make such high brand value we will study that here we have so many things see yahan pe hum padhenge strategic choices mein kaise karte hain how do they implement that how do they structure themselves how do they compete understanding customer and market everything is there your questions are absolutely right and i'm happy that you guys are curious that how is louis vuitton so highly valued how is ferrari so highly highly valued or let's say for that matter how is any big brand so highly valued right an itc grand hotel why is it so costly or a tata hotel tata five star any of the tata hotels is why is it so costly you go to jodhpur or med bhavan like what 60 70000 per night you go to amar villas you go to aman villas these hotels are like 1 1 lakh per night how are they charging this money and how are people able to pay this how are people finding worth in that thing we will study this today value chain analysis right value chain anal analysis value creation how are they doing that understanding customers and markets competition in the industry sab kuch padhenge aaj i am happy that you have those questions and let's see good priyanka it good, builds a good habit i know i am feeling the same thing waking up at 6 am on weekends is something we all want to do and we are never able to do but with these classes right but with these classes we are able to do that and maybe you're still in your bed under your sheets watching in a phone or a laptop i am there sitting on a chair so okay it's good for me all right flipkart big billion day and amazon great indian still that's that's a competitor that's a marketing strategy you're putting things on sale right Rashna, your father has uh, advised to give write examinations in November, so it is fine for you to start the classes now. Absolutely, yes, but be a little quick. But be a little quick, please. Okay. 
nothing jay we were just talking and taking questions uh ica class is enough absolutely yes absolutely yes absolutely yes they are enough okay but do not get away from your study material i keep keep saying that study material is the source of truth for any exam at, at least for ICA, right study material ke bahar se kuch nahi aayega the every everything that you study or everything that you see here everything is study material so just do not skip that there are no weightage to any chapters sir right you are also sitting on a chair good to see that good to know that okay all right super can we differentiate between functional division and matrix level it seems like a bit similar you can why not functional level is when the functional leaders are separate divisional is when the uh, when a business works on a functional structure means the business and functions are separate they are not dependent on each other okay divisional structure is when each business has a division right but the strategy is the same okay let me explain this it's i think you will understand this much better let me give you an example okay an organization let me see if i have a plain page okay let's let me draw this here itself for you okay a functional structure listen to this very fully but it's for one even for those who have understood this will help you to solve a lot of questions functional structure what happens is an organization let's say organization a okay organization a has a business this happens in organizations where they have just one business okay they have just one business but divisions hai hi nahi when the business does not have any divisions it will have generally have a functional structure there is one business only and that business is let's say whatever let's take a business they they are manufacturers of um, let's say shoes okay they are shoes manufacturer and they make shoes only for men and that to leather men leather shoes manufacturer company okay that's the business there are no divisions just one business is what they do they will have functions they will have finance first they will have somebody in finance they will have somebody in hr they will have somebody in marketing they will have somebody in procurement they will have somebody in supply chain theek hai the this business will just have functions so it's a functional structure when there are no divisions altogether because you're doing just one business that's functional structure okay but when i say you have a divisional structure when i say we are talking about a divisional structure a divisional structure will have what it will have divisions okay let's say two divisions now a business has two divisions and this is a health let's say this is a gyming company this is a gym equipment company one say one division is gym equipments right the machines that you see in gym ye company wo banati hai it makes gym equipments and the second division of the company makes protein powders theek hai consumables banati hai so th they are making protein powders as a second division now each of this division this division a there is division b so it's a divisional structure now the company can decide okay listen to this very carefully please that it is dependent on the business the business decides what kind of structure it wants it can have a finance team specifically for gym equipments hr for gym equipments marketing for gym equipments or it can have one person looking for looking after both they can have one person looking after both the divisions depends on the organization depends on the cost structure aap kitna kharcha karna chahte ho if you have fi two finance people two hr people two supply chain people utna zyada kharcha bhi hoga company ka right so it really depends on the resources now right understand what we were talking about that strategy that strategy it should align with the uh, resources you have it should align with the resource allocation the amount of money you have the amount of time you have the amount of strategy the amount of people you have strategy should align with that and this is where organizational structure also comes into the picture that you should align with what you have you should align with the kind of structure you have because then only it will help you understand that what kind of structure suits my cost suits my needs suits my strategy
this is divisional structure now if within this structure itself now here the point is the strategy the strategy for both the divisions is same the strategy i don't know what's happening with this pen give me one second let me try to ah. so the strategy the strategy for this for both the divisions is same okay the strategy for both the businesses is same the strategy is same that is why it's a divisional structure it's not a strategic business unit okay strategy is same for both of these but what happens my friend what happens what happens when there are divisions let's say the same the same company gym equipments and protein powder right is a protein powder hai gym equipment hai and they have their own functional team they have their own function they have their finance they have their hr they have their marketing they have their finance they have their hr they have their marketing right this this is what happens and the strategy for this and the strategy for this is different the strategy the strategy for this is the strategy is different it's different what do you call them that sbus right priyanka is saying sbu absolutely that is sbu when the strategy is different when the teams are different there are different divisions but the strategy is different they work independently they are not dependent on each other it is called strategic business unit right you have been thinking about this that why haven't they mentioned limited and scarce resources limitation of strategic management because it depends on the organization you can't go and tell tata that this is a limitation for you generally resources are not a limitation for strategic management but they are to be considered for strategic management there is a difference okay this means if i have less money that's not my limitation now i need to plan based as my less money because we are talking about strategic management having less resources is not a limitation for strategic management this doesn't mean a small shopkeeper shouldn't do strategic management this doesn't mean that a big company can only do strategic management anybody can do strategic management right so you say a small golgappa wala right somebody selling a pani puri somebody selling a puchka right on the road bro even they are doing strategic management why how <clears throat> they are doing market analysis they are doing marketing they are finding the location customer dynamics right we talked about macro economic we will talk about macro economic today right demographics pricing they are doing promotion they are doing everything that they can do product procurement manufacturing selling POSDC they are doing everything planning organizing staffing controlling and directing they are doing everything staffing they get somebody to work with them somebody is making an alu tikki they are making the puchka or the pani puri or the golgappa right everybody is doing strategic management so limitation of resources is a consideration for strategic management it is not a limitation generally right different perspective to what you were thinking cool <clears throat> awesome is it possible that company follows sbu and functional management both not possible sbu will have their own functional team so they cannot be functional management look the functional structure not functional management okay super is the company have both functional divisions actually can be called sbu i just explained that ppt already provided jay you are late but you are not listening to what i am saying all right let's get into our chapter number 2 strategic analysis strategic analysis external environment okay question to you everybody on the chat i want you to be active sona nahi hai i know you guys are sleepy it's sunday but give me examples of external environment what is external environment what do you understand by external environment tell me 
this is an interactive class, friends. This is not a classroom where I come and teach you. This is where we discuss and share our thoughts about the concepts. This is where we understand how the businesses are working, right? It's not a classroom. It's a discussion forum. Treat it like that and you will enjoy it way more. Hmm. It's already uploaded, Divya, uh, on the website. App may, you might not see that as of now. App takes a little, lot of time. But BOS website has my notes already uploaded yesterday right out of the class. Okay. Customers. Political climate, government policies, change in market, stakeholder, outer environment, technology, change in government policies, political environment. Wow. Pasala says, external environment is which is not internal. Very good. So Pasala, if somebody asks you, uh, how many marks are you going to get in this syllabus? You say, not, uh, not 50. Okay. Because with these answers, you will not get 50. And I want all of you to get 50. It's possible. It's possible to get full marks in this subject. And we are aiming for that. Okay. Environment, customer, government, suppliers, launching new products, pestil, government, political, customer, competitor, stakeholder. It is a combination of external factor that affects business like economic, technological, political, customer preference, right? Competitor, market demand, customer preference for strategic analysis, competitors. Tarun, it will be some people are able to see my notes, some are not. I'll have to check and get back to you. I'll check and tell you, right? Because I've uploaded anyway. Technological, right? Just see now. So you got it. Factors affecting change in technology, environment, trends, competitors, government. You guys know everything, right? You guys already know what external environment is. But somebody I was hoping somebody would come and tell me. Somebody would come and tell me that external environment is something that is beyond the control of the business. You guys are absolutely right. Investors, competitors, stakeholders, government policies, customers, suppliers, everybody's external environment. Absolutely, yes. But what I think you have not told me, and I was thinking we will get that, but now we get that. Something that the company cannot control. Something that the company cannot control is strategic analysis of external environment. Chapter number one, we talked about strategic management. Now we are understanding how do you analyze or how do you build a strategy for which the first step is analyzing external environment. First, you understand what you cannot control. Chapter number three, we will understand what you can control. Okay, see how the syllabus is. What is strategic management? Understood. How do you build a strategy for a business? You start with strategic analysis of external environment, things you cannot control. Then you analyze things that you can control, internal environment. Then you figure out what strategy suits your vision, mission, dreams, and growth aspiration. What strategy uh, is good for you? And then you start implementing and evaluating that strategy. Simple, eh? right? Today, we are going to talk about everything, everything that the business cannot control. That's called external environment. And how does, when a business cannot control anything, then what it should do, okay? Again, a question to you. I want you to think hard on this. External environment, the business cannot control. Understood? Yes, understood. If it is beyond the control of the business, then how should the business can probably analyze this? What should be the business's probably action to to actually work around the external environment Kya karna usko in relation to external environment how should it respond to external environment you tell me we're going to talk about everything that the business cannot control now you tell me you agree we cannot control all of these things what should it do 
right? So that it can ensure it does not fail because of external environment. What should it do to ensure it does not fail because of external environment? It should build its policy suiting the external environment, market research, proactive. Okay. Cool. What else? Market analysis, SWOT analysis, pestle analysis, reactive strategies, optional strategies, adapt to external environment. I got my I got my keywords. Adapt to external environment. Make strategies in advance. Proactive approach. Yesterday, we were talking about proactive reactive, right? One thing is you can be react, uh, react proactive. Second is you can adapt to what's happening. Uh, then you say accept everything that's happening in the dynamic environment, pestle analysis, be adaptive, customer satisfaction. All right. Have a consistent research in public and government policy changes to be active in the market, monitor and adapt to the changes absolutely right you guys are right you guys are absolutely right okay develop good strategy external environment adapt analyze swot react proactive analyze what is your strength and weakness swot analysis right absolutely you have the context for the chapter now okay you have the context for the chapter now let's get into understanding chapter number two strategic analysis external environment okay how the chapter will flow is, we will talk about strategic analysis. What is it? How do you do that? We will talk about strategy and business environment, the relationship between environment and business. Then we will talk about products and industries. We will talk about industry environment analysis. We will talk about market and customer. And finally, we will talk about competitive strategy. Mr. Michael Potter, the world famous competitive strategy guru, we will talk, uh, we'll talk about what he has to tell us about competitive strategy of the business. How can businesses, how can businesses actually fight or win over competition? Okay, great. Look at this graph very carefully. Okay, environment in modern time, the introduction. Okay, what are we trying to say here is very simple. A firm's internal environment is what it has in control. The moment things which are, which when we go outside the organization, the moment we go external to the organization, things start changing. The, the organization, the company is not able to control that. Okay, The firm's stakeholders, industry shaping the competitive force, your domestic, political, legal, demographic, sociocultural environment and the international environment, all of these are beyond your control. They are changing every day and you have to adapt, be proactive, react in certain times and you have to flow through the external environment so as to ensure your vision, mission, your values are intact. Right? Now, who will tell me who are stakeholders? What are firm stakeholders? What do you understand by the term stakeholders? Who are stakeholders for a business? Who are stakeholders for a business? Santosh, the approach for the examination, I have been keeps I kept I keep saying this for the last all the sessions I've taken in the last two, three years is practice, practice, and practice. Practice as many questions as you can. It's a new syllabus. It's the new syllabus. So you will see a lot of things being uploaded very soon on the website. Be active on BOS website. See what's happening. See what's been updated. Find questions. Study. Talk to a lot of friends around. Right? Owners of the company, investors, <clears throat> government, lender, customer, debt security holders, shareholders of the company, shareholder, 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 investor, shareholder, 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 
whoever is dealing, shareholder, investor, interested persons, okay, users of financial statement, debenture holders, business owners, investors, stakeholders who has interest in the company, okay. Shareholders who have interest in the company or stakeholders are people who have interest in the company, debenture holders, investors, just investors, shareholders, investors, customer credit employees, equity shareholders, shareholders, mm -hmm, okay, are only shareholders, okay, owners, lenders, suppliers and governments. Alok, thanks for writing that. Vaishnav says, uh, shareholders, employees, suppliers, customers, competitors, accountants, etc. are stakeholders. Absolutely right. Not just shareholders, my friend, not just debenture holders, my friend, everybody, everybody who is concerned with the business, who has an interest in the business is a stakeholder. People who have given loan banks are your stakeholders. Your shareholders for sure are your stakeholders. Debenture holders for sure are your stakeholders, but so are employees. So are owners, like like you were telling. So are founders. So are board of directors. So are the government authorities, the GST department, the income tax department, the department or the industry with whom you are related. Your stakeholders are industry, your friends in the industry. Like if an airline, let's say Indigo, right? If Indigo is not doing good or there's a bad news about Indigo, it eventually might also impact the air industry or the air travel industry, right? Somebody might say that, let's say there was uh, some case uh, within Indigo Airlines, okay? People might think, oh, that is how the industry functions. Same, Air India would also be same. Spice will also be the same. This is how the industry works. So, Indigo stakeholders are also its competitors because they are setting the context for the industry, right? They're setting the context for the industry. You see, one bad thing about Bollywood and some everybody starts talking here, Bollywood is like that only. Bollywood is uh, so glamorous, but behind the scenes, everything is so bad. It's so politically charged. It's this and it's that. Why? That means everyone concerned in your industry is also your stakeholder. So you have to be very careful with your operations, with your work, because everybody who has some way or the other direct or indirect concern with your business is a stakeholder. They have some stakes there, right? So that is called stakeholder. And these are firm stakeholder and they're part of external environment beyond the control. Now, Air India cannot decide what Indigo is doing, right? But anything that happens in Indigo might impact the overall air travel industry, like you're saying. So external to you, you cannot control that. But you can just flow through, adapt, do some marketing, do some communication with the customers that this is not how we operate. This is something very specific to Indigo. Just giving an example. Okay. Then you have competitive forces. We'll talk about that competitors, domestic environment and international environment. These days, International environment is becoming equally important as domestic environment. Earlier, the businesses used to have think that what's happening in India is only my concern. I don't care about what's happening in the world. But today, everything happening in the world, everything happening in the world, right, is related to you every business that's happening in India or we had any business who's operating in India is concerned with what's happening in the world, right? My internal is also in, uh, is also for other external. No, I, I've just shown that the firm's internal environment and how it gets out to external environment, okay? Let me ask you, let's see how many people are aware of news as well, okay? Due to globalization, that's absolutely right, okay? Durga, I'll come to the Hindi part of stakeholders as well. But there's a question. Which is the latest global news of yesterday which can impact the oil prices, which can impact the technology prices in India? Can somebody tell me? 
latest news from yesterday, latest global news from yesterday that can really impact a lot of things, a lot of businesses in India. Good news, Dekhra. Bataye. The latest global news are from yesterday. Israel war. Absolutely, yes. But so that's not India Israel war. That's in uh, Israel Palestine, right? Palestine Israel war. It's crazy what's happening, what was happening yesterday, and it's still there, right? The Hamas Israel conflict. It's happening. That's going to impact a lot of countries because. Israel is the biggest exporter of Israel is the biggest exporter of what you know Israel is the biggest exporter of what but I hear Israel is the biggest exporter of what Crude oil, okay, technology, that's right. They do export a lot of oil. They do export a lot of technology, cybersecurity. World's cybersecurity capital is Israel, okay? The entire cybersecurity on earth, most of the biggest of the companies are in Israel. So they do export a lot of, a lot of cybersecurity technology and which is one of the biggest assets for any company these days. Now, when there's a war, the prices go up, the stakes go up, right? People would want to protect Israel. People would want to protect Palestine, right? There will be sides. The governments will take stands. The government stands will define a lot of things. This is how geopolitical things happen. Now, if India, for example, takes side of Israel, a big country, let's say US or France, takes side of Palestine, then India, US and France are at interlock. They say, you don't, you're not helping my friend. They say, you are not helping my friend. So our ties become sour and then our prices, our exports and imports start getting impacted. The forex gets starting, start getting impacted. And so does for a business, for an exporter, importer sitting in India, the prices fluctuate like anything, right? I'm just giving you an example. This is why international political, legal, social, cultural environment is also one thing that businesses cannot control, but that's how it functions. Okay, cool. What happened in Ukraine, Russia? We are also asking the same thing, Anne Marie. Nobody knows what's happened. Chalta hi jara, right? Okay. Strategy analysis. Let's get to a syllabus. Let's get to a little bit of theory. Let's get to where we are. Okay, strategic management. Strategy analysis. What is strategy analysis is number. There are two important situational considerations when you're doing strategy analysis. Okay, one. One, you have to go and identify industry and competitive conditions. Okay, number two. An organization's own capabilities, resources, strengths, weakness, and market position. Right? Let's understand this with an example. It's very simple. Right? But somebody, oh, I missed it. Durga had asked stakeholders in Hindi. Durga, koi bhi person, entity, business, jo aapke business se interests rakta hai, aapke business mein interests rakta hai, directly ya indirectly. It can be your employees, your loan, your related, your industry, your industry, your competitor, your board of directors, your owners, your investors, shareholders, right? the government, GST department, income tax department, all of your stakeholders are because you have to keep everyone happy. You can understand that. Who you have to keep in life, they are, they are your stakeholders. Jis jis pe aapko aankh rakhni hai, those are the, your stakeholders. Business ke liye bhi waise hi wo stakeholders hote hai. 
ओके कूल स्ट्रैटेजिक एनालिसिस टू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स इन स्ट्रैटेजिक एनालिसिस नंबर वन इंडस्ट्री एंड कंपेटेटिव कंडीशन नंबर टू एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओन केपेबिलिटीज योर ओन सेट ऑफ रिसोर्सेज योर स्ट्रेंथ वीकनेस एंड मार्केट पोजिशन लेट्स सॉल्व दिस विद अ वेरी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ बिजनेस टेल मी एनी बिजनेस दैट यू वॉन्ट मी टू टेक एन एग्जाम्पल द फर्स्ट थिंग आई रीड आई टेक दैट एग्जाम्पल ओके so in no particular order or anything the first thing that i read i'll take that business as an example what business should we do okay pharma cool the first one i read is pharma let's say we are a pharma company okay let's say we make medicines for for let's say, uh, let's say cough and cold we make uh, medicines for cough and cold general fever and everything okay we make medicines for that we are a new company we have done our research we have done everything okay how do you analyze this your strategy of getting into the market okay how do you how do you analyze a strategy what is your strategic analysis whether the question you have to answer is simple then she what's your question have i missed your question shouldn't happen i'm seeing all the questions to get updated like what what do you newspaper and which newspaper google okay cool we are a pharma company making we have got a new medicine which is for cough and cold and fever general fever okay now how do you analyze a strategy for this product okay let's get into business let's get into business okay this is exciting because now we are talking about business you are the owner you have this product what will you first of all try to understand about this product before you get into the market let's understand that okay you have this product now you are the owner of the company you have this product what all will you analyze what all will you analyze to grow this business or at least start this business tell me apply michael for porter's five competitive forces that's just about competition we're talking about overall strategy here do not get get confused mohit michael porter only talks about competition only talks about competition okay we are talking about overall strategy here what all will you it's an open question kya kya sochoge aapka dhanda hai you have to create this business what all will you think about you have a product you have a very solid product what will you probably check and analyze about this business customer needs okay analyze customers and competitors okay statistics of fever and cold rutraj absolutely that's a good one the statistics around your product and market you have to see whether is it generally a rainy season there will be more demand for that or not absolutely market demand analysis Anal analysis analyzing the demand and requirement so that the disease control okay targeted customer capital needed for doing this business right target audience first the overall market size of the pharma company and what is the percentage of the product great market demand effectiveness of medicine customer opinion feedback age group of patients market demand what is what is the product what the product is and what the scope of growth is okay competitive strategy and how they sustain what are competitors doing right i i can do something similar what the competitors are already doing uniqueness target market license for the government which is legal and compliance of the business are a proper or not right you should you shall see your resources sham right absolutely how big can you be a license from the government firstly the market needs market analysis demand of the product location of the business government policy advertisement of medicine analysis of competitors how our product would be more effective than others in the market level of customer location of the customer how can a product be more effective okay analyze customer and competitive market absolutely yes that is strategy analysis my friend 
यही तो पढ़ रहे हैं स्ट्रेटेजी एनालिसिस एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंट इज सो सिंपल व्हाट आर यू डूइंग यू जस्ट थिंकिंग व्हाट यू डूइंग राइट नाउ इज यू आर थिंकिंग वेदर एम आई डूइंग द राइट बिजनेस और नॉट वेदर आई एम डूइंग द राइट बिजनेस और नॉट what is the industry how big is the industry how big is the market who will buy my product where should i place my product right what should be the price who are my target customers <laughs> am i capable to make so many medicines let's say let's say you figure out the industry for cough and cold and general uh, fever market is let's say dollar 5 billion 5 billion ki market cough and cold medicines ki hai india mein assuming this is a 5 billion dollar market right competitive conditions are very high there is very high competition hanitas is there crocen is there dolo is there this is there what whatever so so vix is there the competition is high okay you feel you feel the market share right now is held by three big companies one has 30% the other one has 20% the last one also has 20% to so 70% of the market is owned by three big brands the rest 30% market assuming the rest 30% market is owned by almost 20 brands together small small brands small small brands have this 30% share and 20 brands are there you will be part of this right out of 5 billion 30% which means out of 5 billion 30% is almost 1.5 billion so 1.5 billion is your market size as of now not 5 billion your market size is 1.5 billion of which 20 brands are already there 20 brands are already there so 20 brands means per brand how much are is somebody getting maximum what not even 100 million So people are just getting about eighty million dollars of business. Okay, eighty million dollars of business per brand in this segment. Eighty million, हो गया ना? So your expectation from your company should be that I will at least be under. So maximum I will be under eighty million. Your expectation is I will be less than eighty million. Market set हो गई. This is how you set your market. this is how you set your market that 20 brands doing 1.5 billion dollars so each company is doing almost on an average 80 million dollars okay now 80 million dollars is what your market size probable is industry checked competition checked an organization's own capabilities resources internal strength weakness and market position 80 million dollars is not a small amount it is 650 crore rupees 650 crore rupees hote hain ye this is 650 crore rupees ye 80 million dollars is 650 crore almost 8 8 is 64 right is the company is your brand is your brand capable is your organization's resources capable is your factory manufacturing capable is your strength and market positioning capable is your pricing is your promotion is your product capable to do 650 crores big question mark big question mark can you do 650 crores do you have so much of capacity itna product bana bhi paoge 650 crores okay and let's say for ease of calculation your medicine is for 650 rupees for ease of calculation let's say your medicine is for 650 rupees to kya will you be able to sell sell to chodo re banja dost i don't know what's happening okay let's let it be so 650 crores okay 650 rupees one per product can you do 1 crore unit sales leave sales can you produce 1 crore units in your factory are your resources capable enough to create 1 crore units right that's how you do it
that's how you do it right one crore units this is what the business has to do my friend this is what a chartered accountant does when they when we prepare plans when we prepare budgets when we prepare business strategies a sales person might come and tell you boss we will do everything i can do anything i can sell anything to anybody you're like very good sir very happy for you that you can sell anything to anybody but a company cannot produce so much we do not have the capacity correct boss this is strategy analysis your dreams your vision your mission your goals and objectives should align with what you have my friend right to understand what is the opportunity in the market you need to do industry and competitive analysis unless you know the industry unless you know the competition how are you going to decide whether i'm doing the right thing once you get to know the industry once you get to know the competition then you figure out am i capable enough right now am i capable enough right now to be where i want to be if not let's start slow i see potential here i see potential here now think about this in a positive way think about this in a positive way right now i can't do 1 crore units maximum i can do is 15 lakh units maximum i can do is 15 lakh units but the opportunity for growth is so much right now i can do 15 lakh units but even in the most cluttered segment where 20 brands are already there 70% goes to the top 3 brands 30% is with 20 brands each one of them is doing around 600 700 crores of business that means there is opportunity that means i am in the right industry it's just about now i have to build strategies to reach that number right this is what strategic analysis is it's not about just about being sad about that i'm not able to do that i don't have the resources boss i'm looking at the positive side i am saying right now you cannot for sure but you are in the right industry because the growth potential is massive right because the growth potential is only upwards you will go to 1 crore units 2 crore units 5 crore units right the growth potential is enormous that is what you have to analyze while being aware of the truth of your organization how big you are what you doing where you going vision mission objectives goals with the value system right understood strategic analysis no calculation of products is not internal it's it's an own capabilities this is strategic analysis those what we are telling right now we looking after overall strategy we'll come to external environment analysis this is not external environment analysis okay this is not external environment analysis this is strategic analysis we will come to external environment analysis after this yukti okay cool if you understood if you're going in the right direction give me a thumbs up okay whatever emoji you want to give so that i know that we are understanding and nobody is left with doubts if you have doubts ask questions i'll be happy to answer all of those basically what we are doing is market penetration good to see uh, strategic turns in the chat box awesome thanks everyone who's sending in emojis and thumbs ups and this cool all right people are are wanting to know about luxury brands as well with this example cool let's do that i am happy to do that and i think a lot of you had this question about luxury brands as well okay let's take an example give me a luxury brand okay let's do this give me any luxury brand that you feel is doing fantastic and you are not able to understand how is it doing something so abnormal pricing and still people are buying how do you analyze startups with limited resources 
absolutely this. This is what startups also do. Malvika, we we probably just discussed about a pharma startup which is not as big as other brands, but it still wants to do that. Okay, I see a lot of names. The most common one is coming Gucci and the next is Apple. Okay, let's take Gucci then. Okay, let's take Gucci. Let's take Gucci as example. All these people, Diljeet Dosanj fans, sab Gucci leke hai. All the Diljeet Dosanj fans are like, yaar Gucci bata do kaise business karta hai. hai. Okay, let's go with Gucci. What is Gucci doing? Okay, now, how is Gucci analyzing their strategy? What is the strategy of Gucci? It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Gucci is understanding the industry and competitive conditions. Okay. The industry is what? Luxury segment. Luxury segment, right? Luxury segment is the industry. Competitions. There are so many competitions of Gucci. It's not easy for Gucci to sustain. There is LV, there is this, there is Tom Ford, there's Michael Kors, but any kya brands. We are not able to name most of those, right? All these brands are competition. Now, let's take an example. What is Gucci analyzing with its strategy? This is a well-established brand, my friend. Okay. Now, where you need to understand as a strategist, where you need to understand as a strategist is first, your current position in the market. The earlier example, listen to this very carefully, okay? Listen to this very carefully. The earlier example of the pharma company was a company which was just beginning. Which was just beginning, okay? That is where it was understanding where do I sit? Should I do this business? Is there a potential to do that? What should be my strategy? For a brand like Gucci, or for a brand like LV for a brand like OnePlus, Starbucks, Red Chief, Rolls Royce, Lamborghini, Christian Dior, right? Zara, Apple, Rolex, Ferrari, Audi, Sony, House of Gucci, LV, Dior, Kya karte ye log? They are well established brands of hundreds of years. Hundreds and hundreds of years of legacy is coming with the brand. So they are least concerned about the industry and competitive conditions. They have their brand already built. They have their brand already built. What are they working on right now is the second piece. They're working on just these two things. They're working on internal strength and market positioning. They're working on internal strength and market positioning. Industry, they own the industry. They lead the industry. They are the leaders of the industry. You need to understand your position in the industry as well, right? In the first example, we were a new entrant. So we did not know who we are. We are very small. Right now, in our example, we are the leaders in the industry. Our competitive conditions are really high, but we are still the leaders in the industry. Gucci is a leader in the industry, right? It is not working on understanding what industry am I in? Is it profitable? Should I get into this industry? It's already there. It's owning that industry. What it's working right now on its strategy is two things. One, internal strength. Second, market positioning. Okay. I'll give you a very classic example here. Not just Gucci. You would see a lot of people, general people like you and me are buying luxury brands earlier we did not even know the names of these brands when you were in school you remember when you were in second and third standard or fifth and sixth standard you might have not even heard of these names today you might just see random influencers on instagram on facebook on youtube Wearing Gucci, LV shoes. People wear LV shoes. I've seen people on road wearing LV shoes and, and going, right? 28,000, 30,000 rupees shoes. People are buying and wearing. What are, the, what are these brands doing now so different? What are these brands doing now so different that 
everybody is running after these brands. Market positioning. They have changed their market positioning, right? If you look at how they're positioning themselves is they are still selling at a cheaper price. They're still selling at a cheaper price. Okay. Now, not everybody still owns a Ferrari, but you would see a lot of people, a lot of people buy an Audi. Mercedes is so common. Audi is so common. BMW is so common. 35 lakhs, 40 lakh rupees. Innova is for 30 lakh rupees. And Audi is also for 35, 40 lakh rupees. So people who were buying Innova can now also buy Audi, right? So the pricing, the market positioning of these brands has changed. They are now targeting the affluent middle class, not just the rich class. Because India, think about this, India, the globe is moving towards affluent middle class. We are moving towards affluent middle class. They understand the global positioning. They, they understand the global environment. They know as people start making money, as a country develops, like India is developing, as a country develops, the biggest share, the biggest market sits with the middle class. The rich become richer, but they will still be limited. The upper middle class or the affluent middle class is going to grow massively. That's what is happening. You will see around you as well. People, everybody owns an iPhone, a 65, 70,000 rupee phone. Almost everybody around you, you would see, would have an iPhone. Makes no sense to buy a 70,000 phone. Honestly, it's just a phone, but people are buying that. That is where the market positioning is, right? One plus phone for 65,000. Samsung phone for 1 lakh rupees. The pricing is exorbitant, but you would see people are still buying. This is market positioning, right? You're positioning your product in such a way that people feel that I have achieved success by buying that particular product's brand or brand's product, right? So these brands, to all people who are asking questions about luxury brands, they are just working on market positioning right now. They are positioning themselves for the affluent middle class. People who have just crossed middle class, they can also go and buy these products now. It's no longer a premium product. To be honest, you and me can go to a mall and we can just enter a Gucci showroom, roam around, look at the products and be back. Earlier, nobody even used to get to know what is a Gucci product. You would have never seen. Today, every mall has a Gucci showroom. Like every city's premium mall has a Gucci showroom or an LV showroom, right? That is called market positioning. Cool. Affluent middle class, Amit is middle class, which is making better money now, better than the previous generation. That is affluent middle class. Is it not the result of globalization and increase in global employment? It is globalization. But globalization to pehle bhi thi. It's, it's in India since 1992. But these brands, are, now people are buying these brands is what I'm saying. Right? Cool. Increased purchasing power. That's absolutely right, Janki. In strategic terms, you can tell that it's increased purchasing power. Okay? Cool. Two important situation considerations for strategy analysis. Number one, understand the industry, understand the competitive conditions. Number two, know yourself better. Organization's own capabilities, resources, internal strengths, weakness, and market positioning. Sab kuch par liya. And I'm, I'm, I'm so curious, how did nobody tell me, yeah, these, this is the SWOT analysis. See, smartly, we hit SWOT analysis in this. SWOT analysis is here. Strategy analysis starts with SWOT analysis. Industry and competitive conditions, opportunities and threats. Your internal strengths and weaknesses, market positioning, resources, capabilities, strength and weakness. We just gave you SWOT analysis and you did not even understand. Wow. See, this is how question paper also comes. 
you have to think holistically this is what analysis my friend two important situation considerations for strategy analysis start with swot analysis it starts with swot analysis okay cool <laughs> let's understand Look at this chart and see what are we trying to say here. An accurate diagnosis of the business situation is necessary for managerial preparation, right? To decide on a sound long-term direction. Long-term direction, setting appropriate objectives and crafting a winning strategy. Business situation diagnosis is necessary for managerial preparation of a sound long-term direction, right? The previous two things, we have just broken it down. The previous two things are just broken down into this graph. Evaluation of your current vision, mission, goals, and strategies. External analysis, internal analysis. External analysis is your opportunities and threats opportunities and threats, internal analysis is strengths and weaknesses. SWOT. Cool. Very nice. Simple. Nothing much to hold on to here. Okay. Now, increase purchasing power, willingness to spend more even without proportionate purchasing power, like if somebody earns 1 lakh rupees, but they buy a phone of 70,000 rupees. I mean, that is how you create a consumer economy, right? That's what marketing does. Fools you to make you buy a product. That's marketing. People on uh, big billion days, Flipkart is going on, Amazon Great Indian Sale, Misho Sale, OnePlus Diwali Sale, Am I Diwali sale? What are they doing? Do you think they're taking losses? I'm asking a genuine question. Do you think these companies are making losses by giving out products on sale? Are they fools to make losses giving you products for free at a low cost and taking losses for themselves? They have some strategy. They're making a fool of us in some way or the other. And you know how are they making a fool of us? In the long-term strategy. Flipkart, Amazon, e-commerce. Okay. E-commerce. Interesting. Eh? If you ever want to study, study this on the internet. I studied this in depth. It was very interesting. Okay, Startups and e-commerce. E-commerce is a long-term bet. E-commerce is a long-term bet. Okay. Now, let me ask you this question and then you will know how is it a long-term bet. Okay. How many purchases do you make in an year from any e-commerce company? Question to all of you. How many purchases do you make online in an year? It can be any brand. It can be any company, Flipkart, Amazon, Misho, a snap deal or zepto or blinket or big basket whatever it is how many purchases do you make in any year 5 6 10 12 20 how many 4 to 5 2 to 3 9 to 10 right 5 to 10 almost 5 to 10 means every 2 months you buy something online right People who say 9 to 10, like every month you're buying something. Many purchases. Bhumega ko yaad di nahi hai. Ita sara kharid liye, many ho gaya. Thik hai. 10 to 15. That's like every month you're buying something online. Right? So what are they doing here? Even if during sales, even if during sale, like a big billion day or, or great Indian sale, even if they're taking losses, even if they're making loss, I'm saying even if they're making loss, what they're doing is they're creating a habit for you. They are not letting you go out of your house more than 50 
in your household nenad right absolutely that's that's a fair number more than 10 4 5 12 never purchased rama devi kya kar rahe ho yaar you should buy online 50 to 60 including groceries right you're doing that every so 50 to 60 means almost every week you're buying something more than 50 right now this is what they're doing even if they're making a loss even if they're making a loss they're creating a habit and what will th- happen when you create an habit is a long term strategy my friend once you're habitual you will have that urge to probably go and buy online that's what e-commerce is betting on that is what amazon is betting on that is what flipkart is betting on right 780 years you give people sales right and then you go and say boss listen now the prices have increased now the prices have increased okay that's what e-commerce does this is a long term strategy so issues what we were talking about issues to consider for strategic analysis right issues to consider for strategic analysis number 1 strategy evolves over a period of time listen to this again with importance i'll tell you why because questions come from here very 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 frequently okay strategy evolves over time balance of external and internal factors is not easy risk in the strategy risky hai dost because it is based on what why is strategic analysis risky can somebody tell me why is strategic analysis risky why is strategic analysis risky my friend absolutely geo did this by creating a free 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 everything you became habitual to free and now reliance geo packs are costlier than airtel they have lesser number of days in their packs even if the pricing is same airtel will give you 1800 360 days geo will give you 1800 324 days they do that but my question to you is why do you think strategic analysis is risky uncertainty turbulent environment dynamic environment future contingent event wrong analysis leads to disasters absolutely uncertainty in external environment may or may not happen absolutely you are right that there is uncertainty in the environment and and your analysis is based on assumptions abhi we did that 650 crore wala calculation theek hai we did that 650 crore wala calculation correct hai we did that pharma company 650 crore business we can do can we do 1 crore units we will do 1 crore units in some time today we can do 15 lakh units we did that analysis what if tomorrow what if tomorrow the government says oh your license needs to be renewed every 6 months and we will come and check your facility and after 6 months the government comes and checks your facility and it says no you are not meeting the standards of pharma companies you have to close down your business for 3 months entire analysis goes for a toss it's risky it's risky right analysis on paper might look extremely easy and fruitful in terms of margins and profits but what happens in reality is risky because it's based on assumptions right you're right uncertainty assumption based that's why it's risky issues to consider for strategic analysis number 
it evolves over a period of time. You need patience. It evolves over a period of time. You need patience. You cannot say, this is my strategy from tomorrow. I'm going to be the leader in the industry, right? Tomorrow, you cannot be a designer. Let's say you are a big designer and you say, from tomorrow, I will go and beat Manish Malhotra. No, it will take time. Each strategic decision must balance different factors that impact and constrain strategy. A key element of strategic analysis is the probable outcome of everyday decisions. Continuous cycle. Strategic analysis is not a one-time activity. It is not a one-time activity. It is a continuous activity. Right? It is not one time. It is a continuous activity and that is why it evolves over a period of time. We are not saying it gets made. We are saying it evolves. It becomes better over a period of time. Okay, That's one issue you need to consider for strategic analysis so that you do not dream here a say I will be the best in the industry. Number two. Number two. Balance of external and internal factors. In practice, in practice, reasonable balance between many and conflicting challenges are there when you do an internal and external mix analysis because a perfect fit between them is unlikely. What is the opportunity in the market? What is what what is your strength? Is a very difficult task. Is a very difficult task. Okay. Now, the demand in the market could be absolutely different from what your strength is. Or the demand in the market could be one of the big challenges because you are weak in that particular thing. That can be your weakness as well. Finding the perfect balance between your strengths and weaknesses and converting them into opportunities or minimizing your threats is one of the most, most difficult tasks that a strategy team has to do. The perfect balance between your internal capabilities and the external factors of opportunities and the threats that are there, that is crazy amount of brains. That is what people are paid for. EY, KPMG, Deloitte, PwC, Bain and Company, Boston Consulting Group, McKinsey, right? Then there are all these venture capitals, Kalari Capital and other uh, Bloom Ventures and this company and Google and Meta and Microsoft. They're doing this. They're doing this. AI are ahead. Then they have chatbots. Then they have robotics. Then they have internet connectivity. They have satellite imaging systems. Google Maps is there. Apple Maps is there. What are these guys doing? Balance of external and internal factors. They're trying to figure out the balance between the strengths and the market need, the market acceptance. They're finding a balance between that. Right? That's what they're doing. And that's what they're good at. They are good at this. That is why they are where they are, like a Microsoft, a Google, a Meta. They are there because they're able to do this, because they're able to do this. Okay. Number three, risk. It's risky. The environment is uncertain. Your strategy analysis or your strategy is based on assumptions which can be right, which can be wrong, which can go in your favor, which can go against you. So risk is always there when you do strategic analysis. Things are changing. Things are moving. So are you. So is your internal capability. So are things within your business. So are things outside your business. Everything keeps changing. Your assumptions will never hold true. So your analysis is based at that point in time assumption. But what you're planning for is future, which is uncertain. So that is one big consideration that you need to take from a strategic analysis perspective. Okay. It is like making a timetable and to implement it for study. Absolutely. That's a good example. 
metaverse okay but as an example a business can control the external environment too like spread out rumors say in few years petrol consumption will go down due to excessive use of fuel da, 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 da. so they are influencing the external environment to change as per their need they can for a short term if they're too powerful ramchandra they can do that if they're very powerful in the short term but in the long term this is not going to happen somebody is going to go and say are you crazy this is not the right news this is not the right fact so in the in the age of internet you cannot fake for long somebody is going to go somebody's video is going to go viral telling that you are doing the wrong thing earlier it was easy because people could control media today it's very difficult to control media anything can go viral and if it's against you you can't control that right intermingling of variables means a lot of things a lot of variables a lot of factors in the external environment or environment keep talking to each other so political things will impact your economy your economic factor will define your customer preference your customer preference will decide the pricing of the product so it is an intermingling of variables right one thing impacts another another thing impacts another another thing it's a ripple effect things the factors of the environment talk to each other that that's what it means okay Avinash, that's what happened with Sibino. What is Sibino? I've never heard. What is Sibino? What is Sibino? Cool. Issues to consider for strategic analysis. Three issues. Number one, evolves over a period of time. Balance of external and internal factors is not easy. Number three, it's risky it's risky right before we go to strategic risk okay it's 822 okay it's 822 i think let's take a break for 10 minutes you also freshen up i'll also just go and be back in 10 minutes and then we start with a very interesting topic which is strategic risk okay you're talking about something that the three factors to consider evolving over a period of time internal external factors we will talk about all of that with examples okay we will talk that with examples i'll give you examples of companies here so be back in 10 minutes 23 24 already let's be back in 10 minutes okay let's take a break of 10 minutes be back and then we'll do our strategic risk with companies okay avinash you said crypto okay cool let's be back in 10 minutes like it let's take a break and then start with strategic risks
everyone we are back i will wait for another one or two minutes for all of you to be back and then we start with strategic risks if you're back just give in hi hello an emoji a thumbs up whatever so that i know you are back as well and we can start cool Thanks, Antiga. I see a hi from you. Good to see you back. Hope you guys had your tea, coffee, freshen up, did a stretch, right? Saw outside the window how people are enjoying the Sundays, and we are sitting in front of laptops. Strategic risk and SWOT different. Priyanka, they're absolutely different. You're talking about how is McDonald's different from coffee? Right? Strategic risk is risk of strategic analysis. SWOT is a tool of doing strategic analysis. Okay. Super. I am getting Lavanya, absolutely yes. I am getting your queries. If you have any question, do ask that. I'll be happy to answer. Awesome, I see a lot of you have joined back. Let's get to where we left off. <laughs> okay. Strategic risk. Now, we will continue to understand this topic with the same example of our pharma company of which makes medicines for cough, cold, and fever. Okay, let's name our brand. <clears throat> Give me a cool name for our medicine. Give me a very cool name for a medicine brand. What should be our company or brand's name? That tablet or medicine's name, kya hona chahiye? Give me a cool name. Be the marketer, be the brand manager. Suggest a cool name and then we take that as example for this topic. Okay. Dr. Reddy, no, no, you make your name yourself. Dr. Reddy is already has a prayer, right? Give me a cool name. Pie Chap. Pie Chap, what is it? Pie Chap, how did you make it? Crocin, we already have Crocin. Ashwas, okay? So, yeah, that's, that's a good name. I don't know if that's an existing medicine or not, but... Rahul says, Yo-Yo Medicine. Very nice. I like this name. Yo-Yo Medicine. Nobody's going to buy your medicine. Medtab. Okay. Pilaid. Okay. Kofko. Kofko is nice. Dolo 650 is already a name. I'm asking some, give me a cool name. Okay. Dolo is there. So I, I like Kofko. I like Yoyo Medicine, but I don't know if we should use that or not. Dr. Gauravashish. Wow, Mr. Gauravashish ne, apni dawai ka naam is given Dr. Gauravashish tablet. This is called pure personal marketing. Cap tubes, quick cure, Cisco, Jika. What is Jika? Okay. Delma, Tableau, Jiffin, Ashwari, no, no Worry. Okay, No Worry is a good name. No Worry is a good name. Okay. Proficient, so protector efficient, proficient. I mean, we itak itak cool ni manga. So those ye to this is too cool for us. Python, Medcab, Cough Go, Cough Go. Okay. Reliefer, Cap Tube, Savior, Patanjali bhi aage. FST twenty, Cough Web, Sproco. Okay. Now, I'll give you three options. You tell me which one should we go and then we start with this. Okay, we'll stop this game. I don't want to waste your time. But I think there are three names that I would like to shortlist and then you vote for it. One is Cough Go. One is Yo-Yo Medicine. And the third one is, I will take the third one as, I think this is nice. I saw this name where it's gone. No worry. Okay. No worry, cough go or yo yo medicine. Which one do you want? Very quickly, I don't want to waste time on this, but 
it's good that we that's what we do strategic names right marketing one 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 okay <clears throat> cough go has the highest yo yo medicine has two words <clears throat> cough go has the highest one okay super till now i'll just wait for another 10 seconds nobody has nobody's getting good votes now yo yo medicine kisi ko nahi aa raha hai though it's a very funny name but okay i think cough go no worry cool then let's go with cough go because that i see a lot of voting for that all right so our brand is called cough go okay super now this is a brand now let's understand <laughs> strategic risk what we are talking about our company which has a capacity of 15 lakh units 15 lakh units right and we were saying we could do around 100 crores of business we can do 100 crores of business while the market size for us is around 650 crore for simplification let me just write 700 crores okay the market size is 700 crores at a, at how many units at about a crore units okay this is what our metrics were for kofco okay kofco ni kofgo maine galat likh diya sorry kofgo hai ye hmm abhi theek hai cool <coughs> so let's understand this topic of strategic risk okay कॉफ गो मेरे को कॉफ हो गया बोलते बोलते सो कॉफ गो द स्ट्रेटेजिक रिस्क विद वॉट वी जस्ट एनालाइज अबाउट आर स्ट्रेटेजी ऑफ आर इंटरनल कैपेसिटी एंड वॉट द अपॉर्चुनिटी लाइज इन द मार्केट नाउ अंडरस्टैंडिंग स्ट्रेटेजिक रिस्क इज टू वेज मेरे को क्यों हो गया कॉफ गो ये क्या ओके सॉरी so external and internal strategic risk okay now external strategic risk has two things that is short term and long term internal strategic risk is also short term and long term very interesting topic you will love it when you understand what's happening here okay you will understand what's happening here people are saying cough go khalo theek hai cough go kha lenge cool strategic risk for external environment or external factors in the short term is read this carefully errors in interpreting the environment cause this strategic failure in the short term in the short term what could be one big external risk see the question is the question how it would come is probably what as a strategist you would have to figure out is in the short term what could be a reason of failure of your strategy in the short term in the short term what could be the reason of failure of your strategy because of an external factor in the short term your strategy could be a big failure if your interpretation of the environment is wrong if your interpretation of the environment is wrong if your interpretation of this number if your interpretation of this number is incorrect if your interpretation of this number is incorrect then in the short term then in the short term because of external analysis being incorrect in the short term external analysis being incorrect your strategy will fail because it this is not the opportunity the opportunity can only be 200 crores and you are dreaming about 700 crores and building your capacity <clears throat> you start building your capacity thinking it's a 700 crore business but it's just 200 crore business and you figured that out that boss shit the opportunity was not that big and now i have invested so much time and money and efforts in this the opportunity was not so big as i was expecting <clears throat> right so in the short term if your external analysis is incorrect your strategy can be a failure if in the short term your external analysis is incorrect your strategy will be failure number 
नंबर टू इफ इन द लॉन्ग टर्म इफ इन द लॉन्ग टर्म ओके योर एक्सटर्नल एनालिसिस could not tell you the potential changes in environment that to be expected your strategy can be a failure the risk is in the long term the environment changes in the long term the environment changes there comes a vaccine for cough there's a there because there comes a vaccine for cough and cold your business is going to go down because if people are vaccinated against against cough and cold then nobody is going to go and buy your tablet everybody is going to get that vaccine and you're done so in india <clears throat> if a business or if a company is making polio tablets right if it's it's making polio medicine makes no sense people are vaccinated against polio similarly if in the long term the environment changes something happens in the environment your strategic analysis is at risk because you could not figure out you could not analyze the extreme changes in the environment so your strategy can become obsolescent that means your strategy can fade away your strategy can go down it will be a failure okay now external analysis is wrong in the short term can cause strategic failure external analysis is interpretation is wrong the interpretation of external analysis is wrong in the short term can create this problem in the long term the risk with external analysis is that the environment changes overall okay in the short term the strategic risk to external analysis is that your interpretation is wrong in the long term the strategic risk risk to external environment is that the environment changes overall understood understood yes if we start small then there will be no failure shrinivasan no business wants to start small unless you do not have ample resources if i give you 10 crore rupees will you open a chai shop or will you open something big let's not take example of chai shop let's say even a small business if i give you 10 crore rupees today would you open a mobile cover shop no you might want to do something big you might want to open a technology startup you might want to invest money in a logistics company in a delivery company because 10 crores is a huge amount if you have money when you have resources you don't look for small businesses you want to go big right so starting small might be a good strategy but when you have resources then people don't want to that is why investors give you so much money to expand nobody is going to give you money if you say any i i just want to be small company i want to try first and then do the business let me see how things go nobody is going to invest because that does not show confidence so it's a two way sword right if you are very cautious people don't want to invest in you people want to invest in you when you are very confident and ambitious right it's a good strategy but from an investment perspective that might not help okay cool that's what external analysis risk is number 2 in the short term if your internal analysis say risk kya hai the organization capacity is unable to cope up with strategic demands okay what happens is your short in the short term the failure of strategy because of internal analysis being wrong can be that you said i will do 15 lakh units at 100 crore revenue you went to the market people said wow what a medicine it became a viral hit it became a viral proposition or a viral product everybody wanted to buy your product but boss you can only make 15 lakh units and the demand for your product is 50 lakh units that means your internal analysis of the market of the power of your product 
or the customer acceptance or the demand of your product in the market was incorrect. When your internal analysis is incorrect, in the short term, the risk is you, your capacities are not able to meet your demand. Vice versa as well. You said I will do 15 lakh units. Only 5 lakh units are what the market demand is. Your market demand is only 5 lakh units. Right? People are only buying 5 lakh units. You could not, you could not analyze internally the correct number for your business. That's a risk in the short term. In the long term, in the long term, what's the risk with internal environment or internal analysis? Risk is very simple. Inconsistencies with the strategy are developed on account of changes in internal capacities and preferences. 2022, 2022. Now let's see this plan. Okay. Understand what I'm saying. 2022. The CEO of the company who made this plan, 2022, the CEO of the company who made this plan, she left the company. She left the company in 2023 mid-year. I'm going for a better opportunity. She left in 2023 mid-year. Now, she knew how to make this... 100 crore into 700 crore. She made a plan. Somebody new who would come might not even know how to do that or might not even be comfortable with the numbers she was projecting. She, somebody new might come and say, boss, she was crazy to give 700 crore aspiration at 100 crore revenue today. Nobody can do that. The market is not so big. The market is not so big. We can't do this number. She was wrong. So internal inconsistencies can cause, can be a cause of long-term failure of the of your strategy. Something changes internally. The employees start leaving your company. The bank does not give you loans, <clears throat> right? Your resources dry up very quickly. There is a fire in, in, there is some change. There is something that's gone wrong in your business. What will you do? You can't do anything. Something changes internally and in the long term that becomes one of the big reasons for failure of your strategy. Right? That's how you read strategic risk. Okay? What about starting small business at multiple suitable locations? I mean, that's a strategy. You can do that. We'll study about this in chapter 4, strategic choices. I'm very happy you're, you guys are thinking about it. That's what we want in strategic management. But that's going to be studied in chapter 4. So hold on till that. We'll study what are the different choices that a company has from a strategy perspective. Okay. We will have to hold a placard and shout Kavko if demand exceeds production. Do that. Marketing ke liye kuch bhi karne ka. Good. Do you understand strategic risk and how does it impact internal and external analysis or what failure, what can cause a failure of strategic analysis or strategy in the long term, in the short term, if your external analysis is wrong or if your internal analysis is wrong? You understand this? Give me a thumbs up. Give me a yes. And we go to the next one. If you still have questions, let's solve that. <clears throat> If it's clear, give me a thumbs up. Okay, yes. Tell me something that we can go ahead. <clears throat> yes, thanks Priyanka for telling that we can go ahead. What about others? What about others? Cool. <clears throat> Where will we study about calculation of market value? Uh, not generally in this syllabus, but we do like I'm telling you, right? This is how we do that. So, and and it's not part of syllabus for now, but if you read a lot of business news, a lot of news comes keep coming about market value or the probable market 
uh, growth potential that keeps coming in the newspaper. If you're interested, you can read that always. Path external long time is basically when the environment changes altogether. Technology changes, uh, the sarkar, the politics changes, the country changes as a whole, the policy of the country changes or something in the external environment changes which you could not anticipate. That is a big risk to your analysis which stays, right? Which stays. Project, I was also giving example of long-term external. Now long-term internal could be employees start leaving right? The employees, employees are not happy with the internal changes or let's say your suppliers increase the price of your raw material, right? The suppliers are increasing the price of your raw material. Then somebody uh, within the company is doing a fraud. Could be anything that changes internally that can be a risk to your overall strategy, right? Internal long time, internal long time. I just gave you an example, right? Frauds in the company, suppliers being uh, too aggressive or the employees leaving, the board of directors changing, the CEO changing, the management changing, some software product coming and disrupting some technology within your company, which you invested in did not give the desired results. So your investments in are not in the right way fashion, your cash flows are not right, your cash flows are poor, you're not able to collect money from your debtors, a lot of financial problems can come. Those are all inconsistencies with the strategy that you thought of that your business will be successful. Okay. <clears throat> Super. Let's go to the next one. Strategy and business environment. Okay. There is a very close and continuous interaction between a business and its environment. Remember this. It's a key term of this topic. Close and continuous. The key term of the topic is close and continuous interaction. Okay. This interaction helps in strengthening the business firm and using its resources more effectively. It helps the business in the following ways. An interaction between the business and the business uh, and this environment is extremely important. Okay, is extremely important. And how does it help a business is what we are going to study. I see a question. We can't eliminate the risk. Then what will we do? <clears throat> Great question, Av Avni. Right? You tell me what what can we do? We have studied that already. Let me tell you, we have already studied that. If we can't eliminate the risk, then what shall we do? I'll tell you where we studied that. But first, you guys answer. Every It's a question to everybody. If you can't eliminate the risk, how will you manage it? <clears throat> and we have studied this in the morning. Answers, please. Think, 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 think. It's your class. Think. Adapt, react, proactive. Minimize the risk. React to it. Be proactive in case you can. React to it appropriately. React fast. Adapt as there is always a backup plan. Correct. You cannot eliminate the risks. You can only adapt and react to them. Or if you are very aware of something's going to happen, something's changing, be proactive. Okay. If you have a gut feeling something's going to change, you see things changing, be proactive then. That's called risk mitigation. Proactive, reactive, backup plans. And as we studied this morning, strategic analysis, strategic management is a continuous process. It's not a one-time activity. strategy <clears throat> What strategy I make today will not be true tomorrow. Okay. So the strategic analysis is a continuous process. 
you have to keep doing that it's not a one time activity it's a continuous process cool now we're talking about strategy and business environment the relationship between studying business and its environment how does this study of relationship helps number 1 determine opportunities and threats the business needs to determine opportunities and threats by understanding the environment okay Just give me one second, please. I don't know what's happening. जब से कफ गो किया है काफी आ रहा है ठीक है Cool. So understanding strategy and business environment and what does a relationship between business and its environment helps you understand. how does it help a business number 1 is determining opportunities and threats we've been studying about this for the last 30 minutes okay understanding opportunities and threats number 1 number 2 gives direction for growth where shall we grow which direction shall we grow right market size market penetration are we in the right industry are we growing should we increase our capabilities should kofco increase its capabilities is it growing in the right phase 15 lakh units to 20 lakh units to 25 to 30 to 80 to 100 200 units like 2 lakh units right from 100 crore revenue to 200 500 700 1000 crores right it gives direction for growth continuous learning things keep changing environment keeps changing unless you do not study your environment you would never know what's happening you will never learn what changes are coming you will never be able to make those adaptations or reduce your risk through reaction and proactive uh, strategic building okay image building okay now companies like apple companies like samsung companies like netflix companies like disney hotstar companies like amazon prime companies like flipkart companies like tata birla reliance ajio zudio azote what are they doing they're studying the environment they're studying the environment they're figuring out what is changing how the customer is changing and they are changing faster than the customer these companies these brands are changing faster than the customer and that is they are able to do that because they're studying the environment they're moving faster than the customer because they're studying the environment and that is why they're able to build an image of today's company they're able to build an image of a modern company they're able to build an image of company that knows what it is doing they are able to build an image of a company which is able to explain that we are ahead of the curve we know the customer we know the technology we know the trends we know the design we know what's good for you let us sell that to you at a very decent pricing right image building they're able to do that because they are interacting with the environment they're taking feedback they're looking at global trends they're looking at customer preferences they're looking at where are people buying they're looking at what are people buying they're looking at what is selling on the social media how to attract customers what do what does a customer need today all of that is what they're studying because they're interacting with the environment they're continuously learning it's giving them a direction for their growth they're figuring out opportunities in this in in the environment and that is helping them to build an image of an organization which is future oriented which knows what it's doing which knows where it's going which knows what needs to be done and how it needs to be done for the consumer of tomorrow it helps in image building right <clears throat> they also test their products in locus to see their reactions and then sell international markets right that's that's what continuous learning image building means they influence the customer behavior absolutely yes right image building the fifth one is 
it is important for a business to understand interact with its environment because it has to fight the competition it has to win over the competition it has to meet the expectations of the customers who are right now happy with the products of the competition zudio has to fight zara azorte has to fight h&m right so meeting competition beating competition winning over competition for that they need to understand the environment and environment includes competition so they need to understand the competition as well and that is what an interaction of the organization with its environment helps it to do right so five things five things that are important and that are necessary or that are probably important because a business interacts with its environment our number one it helps identify opportunities and threats it gives direction for growth it helps in continuous learning it helps in image building and it helps in meeting the competition right five broad important things of why is it important for a business to interact with its environment great nokia failure absolutely not influencing or not understanding the environment nokia failed blackberry failed mtnl failed right amazon's prime fight with netflix that's right if the business is already popular but is in a declining stage of growth matrix how will point to giving direction and for image building work great question ramchandra right the answer to this is giving direction means giving direction for growth means when you're declining the words are giving direction for growth but it also means giving you the right direction to do what is necessary your business might be declining so you might just want to exit that business by selling it to somebody that's giving direction for growth image building will come in handy if you can if you want to sell that company okay now i am a strategist let's say i am a consultant and you come to me and you say boss listen my business is going down what should be my strategy my strategy will be you spend some money on building an image that your business is strong it's well established you have a brand value spend money in building that in the market for 6 months when people see wow this is a stable brand this is a good brand it's doing good business it's a stable business you go and sell that business to somebody and exit this business so from a strategist point of view i gave you two things by understanding the environment image building and then direction for growth is sell it but first build your image and then sell it right so it's very subjective it's 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 a creative job it's not as theoretical as we are reading right now these are basics and these are not embedded in stone ki yahi hona chahiye strategic management is extremely creative financially creative job not just creative it's financially creative job does it make money or not as simple as that at, at the end of the day business wants what money profits revenues right how with all this so it's a financially creative job of a strategy management of a strategic management right and that is why i keep telling you this is one of the most interesting subjects because this is where the finance people get to be creative good that camera failed right meeting competition helps to deal with more effective and react more consciously in which customer experience is a in which customer experience is a positive way great previous year maggie faced recession later on booming in the market that's how you build strategies my friend that's why these are old companies which know how to deal with problems okay 
Strategic analysis, micro and macro environment. Micro environment is something which is close to the business. It's easier to control and it is specific to that business, right? Your organizational culture, your people within the organization, your, that is your micro environment, your capacity, your capabilities, your R&D, all of that is micro environment. Macro environment are things which are far away from the business, which are difficult to control for the business. But these things are common for all the businesses. Micro environment factors are specific to a particular business. Macro environment factors are common for all the business. Do you understand this? People do this even without reading the theories in the book. Absolutely, yes. Creative jobs do not necessarily need an education, right? Creative jobs do not necessarily need certain level of education. Like, but jobs like a doctor, jobs like a lawyer, jobs like a financial manager, you would still need some form of education to do that. But this is pure creative strategy business. And we all know, if in foundation we studied business, education is not prerequisite, but, but education opens so many new perspectives. That is why it is important. You're reading this today, right? You're learning something new today. You can use it if you want to, and you do not want to, you can't, you can't use it. Depends on you, right? Super. Micro and macro environment. Great. There are certain things on your screen. What I'll do now is, what I'll do now is, I'll explain that anyway. I have to explain this anyway. What I'll do now is, I will give you examples. I will give you case scenarios. Listen to what I say. And you tell me in which bucket, whether demographic, sociocultural, economic conditions, political, legal environment, or technological environment, where does that particular scenario fit in which box of macro environment. All of these are elements of macro environment. I will give you case scenarios now. Okay, I will give you case scenarios now. Listen to the, these very carefully and then, and then tell me that which of the buckets does it fall in. Okay, cool. The GDP of India, the GDP of India is going to grow from 6 to 8% in 2026. The GDP of India is going to grow from 6 to 8% in 2026, right? What kind of macro environment are we talking about here? Out of the bucket, tell me. What kind of macro environment are we talking about here? Majority people saying economic, cool, great, very nice. Let's go to the next one. Okay. McDonald's, McDonald's offering masala, dosa, aloo tikki burger. McDonald's offering masala, dosa, aloo tikki burger in Bangalore. What kind of macro environment thing is it tackling? McDonald's offering masala, dosa, aloo tikki burger in Bangalore. Most of you are saying demographic. Some of you are also saying sociocultural, right? Sociocultural, demographic. Which one is the correct one? The answer is on your screen, my friend. 
आंसर इज ऑन योर स्क्रीन आंसर इज ऑन योर स्क्रीन The answer is socio-cultural. The answer is socio-cultural. Demographic is characteristic of the population, not their preferences. Not their preferences. The preferences, the value system, the beliefs, the taste. comes under socio cultural environment right comes under socio cultural environment demographic environment is characteristic of the population age gender caste right what what do they prefer economic conditions of people economic earning the earn average earnings of people socio cultural is about their preferences what do they prefer socio cultural environment helps define products demographic environment helps define market size and identify trends okay i've given you the keywords here itself let me give you another example now okay majority of majority of students in in let's say a particular state for example let's take gujarat okay so a lot of students from gujarat going to australia for nba okay lot of students from gujarat going to australia for nba and one of the smart people started a visa services in gujarat student visa services in gujarat what kind of macro environment opportunity from which of the factors of macro environment is this person finding an opportunity now tell me anmol uh, image building is what startups like paytm uh, physics wala are doing image building is what startups like paytm yes that's right technological environment demographic socio cultural what else technological demo 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 political legal ha huh? political legal the political legal is okay the answer is demographic helps identify trends people are becoming affluent people are able to spend money more students in gujarat all going to australia characteristic of the population is so many young people who are ready to spend 12 like 15 20 lakhs for their education overseas so it helps you define a market size helps identify trends right demographic environment demographic environment okay american express the big mnc from us opening up its office opening up its office in chennai because a lot of technological skill is here in india a lot of computer science people are here in india a lot of computer science skilled labor or skilled people are here in india so american express opening its one of the biggest offices in asia in india chennai what kind of a macro environment factor are we talking about here for american express technological right we're talking about technological environment technological environment If you open a business in India it takes about 12 days. If you open a business in Dubai it takes about 5 days. If you want to start a business it takes about 1 day to get all the registration and official work done. 1 day in Mauritius, 5 days in Dubai and 12 days in India. Right? And so 
a company decides to open its office, its head office in Mauritius. What kind of external environment factor are they considering here? Political legal. Right? Political legal. Right. You're right. They're looking after political legal environment. They're looking after political legal aspect of external macro environment, which is giving them an ease of doing business. Great. Let's take another example. A doctor opens up a clinic <clears throat> near an old age home. A doctor opens up a clinic near an old age home. Which factor is that doctor considering here? A doctor opens a clinic near an old age home. Which factor? Demographic. Demographic. Right? Characteristic of the population. Old, day, old people live there. They will need more medical support. Let me open that. Helps identify trends, define a market size. Right? Demographic environment. <clears throat> a YouTuber from France. A YouTuber from France comes to India. A YouTuber from France comes to India and starts making vlogs in Hindi. A YouTuber from France comes to India, starts making vlogs on YouTube in Hindi. What is he or she aware about of the external environment? It's a business for them, right? It's a business for them. So which macro environment factor are they looking at? Sociocultural. Absolutely. Belief and value system of the population. People relate to you when you speak in Hindi. You form, you build their culture. You respect their culture. You show your liking for their culture, which will help you in getting more views, which is equal to revenue for you. They're doing business, the macro environment, social culture environment for them. Okay. Let me take last, last uh, thing for you. Okay. GST rates for, let's say, rice or let's say food. Okay. GST rate for restaurants from 5% moved up to 18%. What kind of external factor change is this? Tell me, GST rate increases from 5 to 18% for restaurants. <coughs> Economic condition. Majority says economic, legal, economic, legal, 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 economic, economic. The correct answer is economic environment. Tax rates, interest rates, forex, GDP, import, export. All of these come under economic conditions. Okay. Let's take more examples. The This concept is done. Okay. I don't have to explain that again. But, but, the concept is done. Let's take another example. The another example is people spending a lot of money on alcohol. Okay. So a lot of young generation, you see your friends around, you see people who are in corporate or business people, whoever it is. A lot of people now feel very a sense of pride in drinking alcohol or consuming alcohol. 
So somebody opened a rehabilitation center. Somebody opened a rehabilitation center as a future opportunity in India after five, six years. Somebody is estimating that after five, six years, India will need a lot of rehabilitation centers because kids at the age of 15, 16, 17 have started drinking. So they will need rehabilitation centers more in India. So let's start that and build our base in the next four, five years. What kind of external environment opportunity are they looking at? Jaleda says demographic. Tanisha says socio-cultural. Demographic, 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 socio-cultural, social-cultural. The correct answer is demographic. The correct answer is demographic. The correct answer is demographic. Okay. Mr. Kaklutar, Jesh Bhai, ye dekhe. to remove your confusion, that is why I have made these two boxes. When we talk about trends, when we talk about anything which is related to market size, anything that helps you identify the future state of things, it's demographic. Things that help you define your product. That's socio-cultural. Speaking Hindi on a vlog is your product. Uh, masala dosa, alu tikki burger is your product. When you're changing your product, when you're changing your service to align with the people who you are selling to, socio-cultural. When you are doing a business basis, trend of what is happening with that population, that's demographic. Okay? As simple as that. Zala defense nahi hai. Any environment is written, does it belong to environment? So here environment is written, does it belong to environment? It means external factors, right? We talk about macro environment. It means external factors. All right, what else? Profitability analysis. Let me give you an example of profit and profitability analysis also. Okay. Now, take an example of profit an analysis like this. I want to import US technology. Let's say there is a technology in, uh, let's take an example of cycles. Okay. Let's take an example of bicycle. I know there is a US company which makes fantastic fantastic bicycles, right? And I want to bring that technology to India. Okay. So I start importing bicycles from US to India. Now, I know this is not going to sell immediately. This is, this will start selling in two, three years when people understand are aware of this brand and the benefits of the brand. Uh, what am I doing right now is I am an importer. I know the forex rate is going to change. The import export licensing is going to change. India is becoming more of make in India, self-sufficient. The dollar rate is increasing, right? The interest rates are rising. So if I want to be an importer of a product, which is going to sell after three, four years, will take so much time to become a good business and plus with so many moving factors like forex rate, import export licensing, the government not promoting imports, government imp uh, promoting more of exports. I think I will not be a profitable business. I think I will not be a profitable business as much as I want it to be. And that's called profitability analysis. And that is called profitability analysis from an economic condition perspective, right? Super. 
rehabilitation center is also a product then why is it demographic because amit you are not creating a rehabilitation center you are not changing the rehabilitation center based on the customers you are opening a rehabilitation center thinking that it's going to be the next big trend because of the lifestyle changes life the characteristic of the population care people are drinking more of alcohol consuming more alcohol that's the characteristic of the population that's not the value system or the belief of the population right you so this would have been a socio cultural environment this would have been a socio cultural environment if your rehabilitation center had a religious portion because you would thinking okay now think about this your rehabilitation center also has a, has a mandir a masjid a gurdwara a church within your complex then that's a social cultural environment because you're cha- you're defining your product you're changing your product to cater to your customer right now we're saying you're building a product based on the trends that is demographic if you are changing your product to meet the expectations of the customers values customers preferences customers tastes tastes that is socio cultural environment okay jab aap product change karte hain to wo socio cultural hota hai when you creating a product based on the trends that you anticipate it's demographic simple hai na super simple hai i know right ease of doing business means how easy it is to do business in that company in, in that country or area or locality that's what ease of doing business is cool super we are already at 9:30 let's wrap up for today hair elements of macro environment we'll start from this next week saturday 7 am sharp right i will stay here for another minute or so for any questions that you have right i would want to solve those before we end the class for today but let's wrap up for today it's sunday you can go and enjoy your sunday now in pestle analysis walk what is second e it includes environment here it's nature and biosphere right economic and environment pestle and environment first is economic second is environment example of skills available in the workforce means a computer science financial technology medicine nurses doctors these are skills hi it's of course strength i know thanks everyone who's saying a thank you i'll see you next week as well gunjan koi concept badai pure chapter ka summary hindi mein dena is difficult koi aapko concept samajh nahi aaya to i explain in hindi for sure would there be more than one or two macro environment condition in one case absolutely it can be we'll study that next time i will give you that examples as well change in tax rate is economic but making mandatory taxation on something is legal that's right habit is part of characteristic or belief system habit is part of uh, lifestyle is part of demographic characteristics habit is lifestyle and lifestyle is part of demographic Super thanks for your go What am I buying today on Flipkart and Amazon I don't know maybe a backrest because my back is gone Apple changes USB to C type do you think it's demographic No it's technology That's what the technology push of the competitors technology is C type and people want C type so it's a technological environment their competition is pushing them to change their technology next lecture we'll complete this absolutely prince you can you can leave i'll be here to solve any questions anybody who has no doubts can exit the class we are done for today cool people who wanted any concept in hindi right i'll be here next class we'll start join early i'll explain all the concepts that you want in hindi 
for now let's wrap up it's 9:33 a.m thanks everybody for being so active and being so supportive of the classes i hope you guys are enjoying i'll see you next week same time 7 a.m take care bye